Hello and welcome back to Tech with AGR. And you join me in the second video of the series, where I'm upgrading that 5.1 Mac Pro. In the first video, I showed how to, I showed you how to install an SSD, this one terabyte Samsung one. So do go check that out. There'll be a link in the top right hand corner if you want to follow the build in the chronological order that I did it in. But in this video, as I'm sure the eagle-eyed viewers can tell, I'm going to be installing an AMD RX 580 8GB. I'll come on to why I chose that graphics card in a minute, but without further ado, let's begin. So now that's done and the Mac's ready to be upgraded, I'll, let me just tell you why I chose the AMD RX 580 8GB and particularly this Sapphire Pulse model. Well, there was one predominant reason, and that was, on the Apple website, there is a special page that is all about upgrading this Mac Pro to Mojave, and on that page, the, car the graphics card that's at the top of the list, that's metal supported, and has the highest amount of gigabytes, which is 8 in this case, was this Sapphire Pulse RX 580. So I hopped online and I found this Sapphire Pulse RX 580, which I paid £145 for. However, that's not all you need to upgrade this Mac Pro to the RX 580. You also need two other things, one of which is this, a little adapter that is dual mini 6-pin to 8-pin because the connector on the card is 8-pin, but on the Mac Pro's logic board they only have two mini 6-pins. So you need this rather interesting little cable. The link for this will be in the description, I just got it on Amazon, I think it was about £9. And you will also need, because this graphics card has no mini display port and I want to connect it to my cinema display, I'm going to need a HDMI, or sorry, in this case, a display port, two mini display port connector. So you can get that. The link will be in the description as well for that one. And now, let's get on to the upgrading of this computer. And if you're enjoying the video, a sub to the channel or a like would be massively appreciated. If you can do both, even better. Now, let's get on to upgrading that card. To actually upgrade the card then, it's quite a simple process. You just have to unplug the old card, which in my case was an ATI Radeon 5870. Then you have to undo these two, this little mounting bracket, which is held on by two thumb screws, which are really simple to undo. There you go, just like that. You can keep that to the side. And then it's just a matter of pushing this in and unclipping the latch from the card. There's a little metal latch there that's holding the graphics card in, so once you push this little button on the fan and you pull it back, as you can see I've managed to push the bracket back and the numbers are now exposed, which gives me enough reach and enough scope to pull out the old graphics card. And there it is. The old AMD ATI Radeon graphics card is gone, and now I can install the new RX 580. Before I do install that graphics card, I probably should give the surface a little clean, because it's a bit dusty after all those years. After cleaning the inside of the Mac Pro's case, we can now install the new Sapphire Pulse RX 580. So this was a, this is an 8GB card, and I found it to be in decent condition. It still had most of the covers that covered the port, so let's just remove those now. And then install the card. But before I do install that new graphics card, I may as well put in the cable, the dual mini 6-pin to 8-pin cable. The reason for this is the RX 580 requires 175 watts of power, and the PCIe slot provides 75, and one of the Mini 6 pins provides 50, and the other provides the other 50. I don't want to overload a single Mini 6 pin by doing anything silly, hence I bought this cable. So now I've installed that dual Mini 6 pin to 8 pin connector, we can actually go ahead and install the RX 580 itself. So just line it up with the PCIe slot and 
click it in. And there we go. Now I've put the graphics card mounting bracket, which is that little holder, little trainer bracket over there. Now I've clicked that into the RX580. The last stage of the installation is actually connecting the 8-pin power supply or the power source to the card. And if I push it, it'll click. There it is. And now the RX580 is installed in the Mac Pro. Now I'm going to boot it up and hopefully the graphics card is registered. Let's find out. First power up, here we go. Now the Mac Pro is powered on, let's su let me sign in and check if that RX 580 is registered. And there we go, check out the specs of this Mac Pro now. So we've got a mid-2010 5.1 Mac Pro with 32 gigs of RAM and an AMD RX 580 installed. Look at that, an 8, big, 8 gig graphics card. As well as the dual X5620s, which I will be changing in a future video, so stay tuned for that. So now you've seen me install the RX 580, and you've seen it show up on the Mac Pro's system, I thought I'd leave you with a quick real-time statistic on how it stacked up compared to the old AMD card from 2010. So to do that, I've arranged a quick gameplay test, which I'll show you right now.
So then, as you just saw, that, a that new AMD RX 580 absolutely obliterates the old AMD ATI Radeon card from 2010. It's much more slick, it's much more smooth, it makes the Mac Pro fantastic at light gaming as you saw in 1v1.lol and Crunker. I was consistently getting 60fps on Chrome, which is the maximum, which I was pretty pleased with. It also annihilates that old card from 2010 in all graphical benchmarks, as well as intensive graphical tasks such as Fusion 360. So now you've seen me install that new RX 580 8GB into my 5.1 Mac Pro, please subscribe, like and hit that bell if you enjoyed the video, it would be massively appreciated. And also stay tuned for my next video where I'll be installing these dual X5690s into the Mac Pro. That should hopefully take the CPU performance to another level. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.